Pokémon is a series that went through a lot of evolution in its early years, but a few particular changes helped it to become the refined series that it is today. Although most of Pokémon's long-running changes were small tweaks, a few changes were so major that the games are almost unrecognizable before them. As a result, the series has only gotten better with each generation. The first generation of Pokémon games was very different from the most recent releases. Only the most basic of the game's mechanics were in place, and even beyond the limited selection of Pokémon and moves, the game had nowhere near the variety and intricacy of later games. Although the games were still successful, it is clear that they were more or less a prototype of what the series would become in later generations. Pokémon Red and Blue Haven held up well in comparison, and going back to play them can be something of a shock to players who are used to what the newer games have to offer. There are a few specific changes to the series that not only made the games more interesting, but put mechanics in place that would be vitally important to the series going forward. Each of these changes was a big step forward and helped to mold Pokémon's future. The series won't be as strong as it is without these additions, and they should be celebrated. Held items were Pokémon's first big innovation gold and silver, brought a lot of new things to Pokémon. It featured a wide variety of new Pokémon, a new region, and a new slate of gym leaders for the player to overcome. One of these additions was the introduction of held items to the series. While using items during Pokémon battles can be powerful, held items proved to be an even bigger game-changer. Held items in Pokémon can be best compared to equipment and accessories from any number of other RPGs. Every held item has an effect that affects the Pokémon holding it. For example, an Oran Berry will heal the user for 10 HP after falling below 50% health, and Charcoal will power up the user's fire-type moves. Held items would become an important part of the metagame with items being used not only to help the user, but counter opposing Pokémon as well. Even some items with negative effects were introduced in order to take advantage of them with combos. In some cases, a Pokémon's held item is just as valuable as its moves, and they can allow such tactics as Pokémon's Rattata-based F. EAR Strategy Although held items began in a humble way, mostly simple berries and attack boosters, they would eventually collect a large array of effects that empower their holders in many ways. Although held items had a simple beginning in gold and silver, they became a vital part of Pokémon soon enough. Abilities gave Pokémon extra unique traits Ruby and Sapphire experimented with the formula of Pokémon much more than most games. It introduced double battles to the series, as well as the relatively short-lived Pokémon contests. However, one new addition from Ruby and Sapphire was one of the most important improvements in all of Pokémon. Starting with Ruby and Sapphire, every Pokémon would have an ability, and it wasn't long before Pokémon's abilities became vitally important traits. Every Pokémon had at least one possible ability, and they granted said Pokémon new traits. For example, a Pokémon with Synchronize would inflict any status condition it suffered on the opponent as well, while Pokémon with Keen Eye Cold have their accuracy lowered, among others. A good ability could make a Pokémon much more powerful, especially if it covered for a weakness that they would have otherwise. While some such as Truant and Slow Start keep their users from being too powerful, the vast majority of abilities are beneficial to the user, sometimes to a game-changing extent. Abilities are now a part of the games that even new players will be familiarized with as soon as they get their first Pokémon. Players have learned to study a Pokémon's abilities as much as they do their stats and move pools, and the addition of Pokémon's rare hidden abilities only deepens the feature. Looking back at the first two generations, it can feel like something is missing when the Pokémon don't have any abilities. It can be a surprise to remember that one of the most important aspects of almost every Pokémon didn't debut until the third generation. 
Pokémon Physical Special Split was a sorely needed adjustment in the first three generations of Pokémon, every move was sorted into being either physical or special, depending on its type. No matter what the nature of the move was, its type was the only thing taken into account. This led to oddness such as the obviously physical bite being considered a special move because it was dark type. It was no more difficult than understanding Pokémon type weaknesses, but it was still an inefficient system. However, Diamond and Pearl introduced the physical special split, a decision that changed this archaic system for the better. Under the physical special split, moves were sorted into being physical or special, based on what the move itself does, rather than its type. Generally, moves that inflicted damage physically, either through melee or tangible objects were physical, while moves involving intangible or supernatural powers were special. This was a major boost to a lot of Pokémon. For example, Absol is a very strong physical attacker, but it struggled from dark type moves all being special in Generation 3. Likewise, Ghost Pokémon typically had high special stats, but Ghost type moves were considered physical in Gen 1-3 for some reason. In addition to making a lot of Pokémon and moves more viable, the physical special split just made more sense than the previous method. Just like how some Pokémon couldn't learn obvious moves, it's equally baffling that some moves didn't use the stats that they obviously should have. The physical special split made perfect sense in addition to being the biggest rebalance of power in the series, and it would be difficult to find a fan who isn't glad that it happened. Thanks to this move, Pokémon has even more viable options and combinations than before. Pokémon has grown into one of the most strategic RPGs on the market, and that is largely thanks to the major additions and reworks that the series has been through. Now eight generations in with Scarlet and Violet on the way, the series has a firm place as one of the jewels in Nintendo's crown. It is thanks to the major improvements that Pokémon has made over the years that the games are as deep as they are.